All right, welcome back, County One students. We are working on two two application problem. We start out on page forty six of the textbook, and it says Hal Rosen owns a company called Hal's Marketing Services. Uh, he chooses to use cash, supplies, prepaid insurance, one account receivable, one account payable. Hal Rosen Capital, Hal Rosen Drawing, sales, just two expenses, advertising and rent. We've already worked through Techno Consulting, so we're doing virtually the same thing. It's just a different company. We still deal with our same two ideas, what the company did or do, and how was it paid for. We've now moved on to the idea that rather than just tracking it across the economy equation, we're going to track this thing called debits and credits. You remember that things that are on the left side of the accounting equation, which happen to be our assets, those things increase on the left side of the T account or the debit side of the T account. Versus things on the right side of the accounting equation, like say a liability or capital, since they're on the right side of the T account, they're going to increase on the right side or the credit side. Here's our first transaction. Receive cash from owner as investment, Hal Rosen, for a thousand bucks. We ask a simple question: what did our company get or do? How was it paid for? We say what two accounts are changing. Well, receive cash tells me that the cash account is changing, and Hal Rosen's putting it in, so Hal Rosen Capital is the other one. We hit our pause button and we go look at our help guide over on the whiteboard or on your, your study guide and we say, where are these accounts? Right? Well, cash is an asset. It's on the left side of the accounting equation. It increases on the left side of the account. Hal Rosen Capital is on the right side of the accounting equation, so it increases on the right side of the account. We step back, we look at our transaction, and again, we say received cash, and then we stop. Right? We chunk the transaction in half and say, well, what's happening? Well, when you receive cash, is it going up or down? Well, the says it goes up by 1,000. We look at the second half, and we say, did the owner's claim to the business get bigger when they put money in? And you guys would say yes. So that goes on the increase side. We step away and we look and we have one debit, we have one credit, and that's rule number two of accounting. Your debits and credits got equal. Next up, paid cash for prepaid insurance, $400. What did the company get or do? How was it paid for? What two accounts are changing? Well, prepaid insurance, is one of them, cash is the other. Prepaid insurance is an asset on the left side of the economy equation, so it increases on the left side of the account. Cash is also an asset on the left side of the economy equation, increases on the left side of the account. What the company get? Well, they got more insurance. So we go to the got more side or the increase side, that is a $400 debit to prepaid insurance. How was it paid for? Paid cash. So the checkbook is going down, and it's going down on the credit side. We step away and we look and we say we got one debit when that transaction's done, we have one credit. As we're going, go ahead and hit pause as you're watching the video in case you need to review, go back and take a look or whatever that happens to be. Lots of supplies on account from All Star Company, 600 bucks. What two accounts are changing? Well, what did the company get? Well, they got supplies. Supplies is an asset on the left side of the accounting equation, so it increases on the left side of the T account. We do not see the words paid cash. So since it's not cash and we see the words on account, 
we know that this is accounts payable. So we got AP, accounts payable, all star company. Liabilities are on the right side of the accounting equation, so they're going to increase on the right side of the account. When we buy supplies, do we get more of them or less of them? Well, logic says we got more. So the $600 goes on the debit side there. When we charge something, does that mean we owe a company more money or less? Well, in theory, you should know that when you charge, you owe them more, but let's say you don't. Let's say you're not rock solid on what that is. The rule is your debit's got to equal your credit. If you're 100% positive you've got a debit to supplies because you're getting more supplies, well, the other half of the transaction has to be a credit. We step away, we have one debit, we have one credit, and we move on. Now we jump forward to paid cash for supplies. What two accounts are changing? Cash and supplies. Plug in your pluses and your minuses. Now you sit back and ask the question, what did the company get or do? Well, they got supplies. How was it paid for? Step away, we have one debit, we have one credit. Pay cash on account to all star supply. Actually, all star company. Now, in this example, I put all star over here on the left side of the page. As long as it gets the proper debit or credit, that part doesn't really matter, right? Whether all star company is on this side or it's over here, as long as it either gets the debit or the credit like it's supposed to, which T account it's in doesn't matter. Now again, we always want to chunk these transactions in half, so if you're looking at it and you're like, I'm not really sure where to go, in my mind, take the easiest part of the transaction. Paid cash. Pretty tough to screw that one up. If you're spending money, it's going on the credit side. When we pay a bill, does it make sense that we owe them more money or less money? Well, I hope that makes sense that we owe them less money. And I step away and I say I have one debit and I have one credit. Now we're moving from 2-2 two, two into 2-3 two, and then into 2-4. Receive cash from sales. Two accounts that are changing are cash and sales. Our plus and our minus there. Now we go back to our cheat sheet and we say, well, what's the deal with sales? Right? Remember, assets over on the left side of the accounting equation increase on the left side of the T account. Liabilities on the right side of the accounting equation increase on the right side of the T account. And then we start with capital. Right? Capital is on the right side of the accounting equation and increases on the right side of the T account. Our next three, which are going to be sales, expenses, and drawing, are all on the right side of the T account, but they all don't do the same thing. What we do is we compare them to capital and say, do they make the owner's claim get bigger? And if they do, then they're going to look just like capital. If they make the owner's claim get smaller, Logically, they got to be the opposite of capital. So the plus and the minus are on the opposite side of the account. So because sales is going to increase the owner's claim to the business, it's got an increase on the credit side. Again, look at the transaction, receive cash. Well, that's the cash going up on the debit side of the transaction. When we make a sale, did we make more or less of a sale? Well, I hope we know we made more of a sale. We step away, we have one debit, we have one credit. 
Thank you, Ash, for advertising. Two accounts are changing. Advertising expense. Cash is an asset, increases on the on the left side of the accounting equation, increases on the left side of the T account. Advertising is the opposite of capital because it decreases the owner's claim of business. It's the cost of running your business. Since capital is like that, expenses are the opposite. Again, deal with the easiest part of the transaction if you need to. Cash goes down. When we pay advertising, did we incur more advertising or less? Well, we would like to think we incurred. Again, if we're not rock solid and we're 100% positive we got a credit to cash, go ahead and put the other half of the transaction on the opposite side. We're going to go ahead and end uh, the applications. Feel free to look at the uh, answer key on Schoology to help you take a look at the rest of these individual transactions.